day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. Bold claim. Evil is resilient. Time will tell. was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. essence lingers in the black soul stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Well, Horadrum, your service here is finished, and you should all... Come <laughs> on. 
why? Screams draw me to the city of Westmarch, where angels slaughter helpless people in the streets. Who sent these reapers, and why? I will learn the answers, but first, I will end this massacre, and teach them to fear the Crusade. Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. People are dying in that city, lad. I won't abandon them. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. Tell Tyriel I will meet him in Westmarch. Go! It will be done. I swear it. As the guard was struck by the maiden's magic. I Damn it! The gates! Those gates are bound by a spell I cannot break. My wrath is low. Require more rats. To the streets. I just want to get rid of this, to be honest. It's the end of the world. 
So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. And there are no survivors. General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the Crusader who saved Bastion's Keep. You'll save us too, won't you? I will, I swear it. Keep moving. I think we lost her. No, no! No, with demon blood must die. Demon blood? Those were innocent people. Shadow touched me, and darkness spread across my vision until all I could see was blackness. It gave way to a pale light that sapped my strength. It seemed so easy. But instead, I drew upon the last of my will and fought back. Color flooded back into my sight. The shadow was right before me, and I drove my spear through it. The Revenant Shield Guards were once the personal guard of King Justinian IV. Not enough rap. Appointed to the position for bravery and skill at arms. They accompanied the king at all times, resplendent in their ornate armor, wrought by the finest craftsmen in Westmarch. But most spectacular were their shields, which they unerringly employed in the protection of their king. That is a powerful foe over there. I require more wrath. Ah, we found you. Tyriel, why are Malthael's armies attacking Westmarch? Because he feeds on death. Every time his Reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthael believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. But we are descended from demons and angels. When Malthael looks at us, he sees demons. The Church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akrat's Bane! This is worse than I feared! What is that? A death maiden! Stop her! Never Your soul will be mine! Not yet. Any other archer would have fled as I charged, but this one stood its ground, staring down the arrow shaft through lifeless, empty eye sockets. Even as I swung my blade to take off its head, the thing loosed another shot. How can we fight an enemy that has no fear, nor thought for its own self-preservation? They thought they would be safe in here, but they were trapped. We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory.
Let's end this madness. Where is Maltheo? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. But why does he want the stone? Is there any way to find out? There may be. A sliver broke off when Maltheo took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Then you study the sliver, while I save this city from the Reapers. Malfeo, my brother. He was wisdom, leader of our council, first among angels. And now, he has become this. How did it happen? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malfeo's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. Well... However he came to his madness, he's got to be put down. Death is meant to free our souls, not devour them. This sliver of the Black Soul Stone will reveal Maltheo's plan to you? The sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore I can observe what Maltheo is doing to the stone, and if we're lucky, even discover his plan. I've heard of the Haradrim, but I thought they were long gone. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. At long last, a hero comes to save us! That won't bring my wife back, though, will it? We stayed to fight, Robert and me. But he fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. You did what you could. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? West March originally grew from the efforts of the great General Rakis to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zakarum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rakus, haven't you? Its location has never been found. Most scholars think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Rakus was a clever man, after all. What's that noise? Is there anything on your mind, Heydrig? I was wondering what you thought of Westmarch, Arena. It is a fascinating city. So grey and dark, yet there is old magic running through parts of it. Magic from the east. I know who is responsible for this. It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves.
Did you know there were once two moons? Lyria is the one that is no more. <laughs> I think it's time I told you the whole story of Sai and his master, the god of desire, Durgis. You mean you are ready to tell your version of the truth? Durgis' jewel has appeared again, and the time for secrets is over. Then you're finally ready to tell me if you were a god? <laughs> Uh, have you been eating enough? I I've noticed this about you. When things get difficult, you get very focused. Uh, maybe I'll cook for you. Uh, so, if it's all the same, we'd probably both be happier if I didn't. Cormac, you seem troubled. For too long have I lived with the knowledge that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? An honorable man who dedicated himself to a cause he believed righteous. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. Let us seek honor. You ask who's to blame? It is good to see you again, though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. But I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. The Prophet has foreseen our victory. Well, the world's under attack and people are dying everywhere. It must be time for us to go on another adventure, right? I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. Grab the jewelry, at least. Harold, those monsters were about to kill us. Well, I would rather be dead than poor. <laughs> what the hell is going on out there? Someone came for me. After all this time! The cranky blacksmith named Hadrig was complaining about the noise. Bloody miracle! Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I owe you both. Come with me. It's safe, and we've still got a little food. Remember that noise I heard? It was that lad you rescued. I'm Bryson. I came here to see your friend. <laughs> and now he won't go away. You saved his life. You're stuck with him now. He is. I'm going to repay Hadrig by helping him with his work. I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other, like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now, it's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. General Torian. 
What was that Death Maiden doing in the cathedral? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthale's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. So, Crucibles, with two of them, Malthale has an endless supply of soldiers. Then I will destroy these Crucibles and cut off Malthale's supply of troops. The soul Crucibles turn the dead into Reapers? Sadly, yes. The Death Maidens look like angels. Their story is as tragic as Malthale's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. is low. Make your peace quickly. Not ready yet. After Malthael's disappearance, the Angiris Council appointed his most loyal servant, Urze, to find him and bring him back to the High Heavens. Urze, accompanied by the sect of maidens who were Malthael's closest followers, set out to find their absent master. They never returned. Taken the rats too. They are creatures of death, are they not? I enjoyed that. Harry, we've got to save my friends. For some king, he is. Patience. King Justinian must have fled the city by now. It's time for the people to rise up. This is the worst possible time to turn on each other. But this is our chance to get out from under the king's yoke. Ready yet. Thanks for helping, but this isn't over. The king has filled us all. If you don't believe me, read this. His private journal. Where did you get this? Well, let's just say it's from someone who cares about us coming forward. 
I am so weary. Why did you have to die, brother? I was never meant to be king. The nobles threaten revolt to bend me to their will. They will abandon me if I don't keep the peasants in their place. Oh, my position is hopeless. Snivelling offspring. If you are reading this, then I am dead, and you have come to claim my fortune. Well, you still can't have it! I have set traps to stop you from even trying. So, enjoy the rest of your poor, miserable, and cowardly lives.
Not yet. Not enough wrath. team. Angels and their monsters are killing everyone. What will they do to me when they find out what I truly am? My mother and the demon attack she survived, it's... It's all too horrible to contemplate. enough for us. You know, I did not care much for him at first. But Linden is beginning to grow on me. Really? He pretends to be quite crass. But I think that beneath it all, he is a very nice man. I wouldn't mention that to Cormac. He pretends that he does not like Linden. But I think he really does. <laughs> My personal guard is the best that money can buy. They will save us. I thank you for assisting my guards. You are a true hero. Now, let us depart before more monsters arrive. Wait! What's this? No one escapes the harvest of souls, you fool.
patience. My wrath is low. Ready yet. I need to go back. So, you want some stuff? the best for you, sir. Some of my men are pinned down in the courtyard, fighting revenants. Please help me rescue them. Do you know why? 
why this is happening. It's madness. Get your men to the survivors' enclave in the courtyard of the Zakarum Cathedral. Go! After years of my pleading, the Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malfiel. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the High Heavens. Owing to Malfiel's growing fascination with the humans, Tyriel has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. Be gone! Death Maiden controls the Soul Crucible. Not yet. I knew you would arrive in time to save me. How could you know that? I am Miriam Jazia, a seer of the Vechen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the Maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. Malfael, he's watching you. I did not find Malfael on Sanctuary, but I did find humans, far too many of them. They murder and cheat one another while allowing their brothers to starve. If their true power is ever released, we are all doomed. They have a choice between good and evil, and they overwhelmingly choose evil.
You should get to the Survivor's Enclave. It's not safe out here. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. I see you have much guilt over Leah's fate. What do you know about Leah? I see the past as well as the future. You must not let it consume you. Look, Patience. Just over there. I never imagined such a creature. Not ready yet. I enjoyed that. You shouldn't be so dour. You have much to be joyful about. This is not a moment to make right. I have learned that in terrible situations it is better to laugh than to cry. Perhaps when you have lost as much as I, you will understand. Before Zakarum. Now they all draw strength from places such as this.
A wandering hero. Just in time to protect me as I grab these last trinkets. We'll split it, eh? This looks promising. Keep watch. If I get eaten, I blame you. Ah, nothing. Not enough run. Not yet. Oh no. I'm dead. This is the one. I can feel it. Thanks for keeping me alive. Here's your share. I'm off to find the nearest abandoned tavern. Yes. more wrath. Patience.
wonder if my sisters would have been able to learn to live in this different time. I was going to work. Surprising. Do I seem so out of place? Do you remember that moment with the fishwife, that jug of milk, and the pitchfork? I would rather not speak of it. Crusade marches on. Patience. You are such the artist when it comes to dispatching Death's minions. Don't mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. Ready yet.
Not yet. That sound. That would be Urzael. Who is Urzael? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. Good. Let's get to the Enclave. I need to see if Tyriel has made any progress. I'm returning to town. Those who perish without embracing Malthale are eternally damned. But I can commune with our lord. I have some good news for you, Cormac. And what, pray, is that? Westmarch is recovering. You can stop being so miserable. Or at least return to it. Thanks for taking a look.
Thank <laughs> you. 